So today we're going on a trip. We've got a brand new beard company that's only been in business for about two months. I've got like seven different scents here and balms and butters and oils and colognes and all of that to go over with you. So grab your passport. We're going on a vacation here. So this one is Dublin. I've got a lot of other cities to go over. This is Passport Grooming. So welcome guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And personally, I love uh, to travel. So I really enjoy this theme. And I think this is a theme that can just, uh, you know, continuously kind of reinvent themselves and keep coming up with different cities to feature. So right now I've got some uh, United States cities, Chicago, Denver, Detroit, Miami, San Francisco, and home base. Uh, I also have Austin and then home base, which is Des Moines, Iowa. That's the unscented. And then we start to get uh, to branch out there. And then they've started an international kind of series. We've got Dublin and we've got some more stuff coming soon. So very fun. Um, the, 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 the branding looks good on this. So you've got like the cityscape background and uh, got some texture to the labels, different colors for different cities um, with all kind of a, a good unified theme to it. Uh, the website looks great, easy to navigate. So, so already two thumbs up coming out of the gate there for that. Uh, by the way, you can use the code Banjo10. Uh, the owner, um, Chris, shared that with me for you guys to use if you want to check out Passport Grooming, which I do recommend. But you can get an oil for $19.99, uh, one ounce, a two ounce balm for $19.99, a two ounce butter for $19.99. And then you can also get some uh, parfum, some cologne spray for $24.99. Not sure if that's in all of the scents or not. Uh, and it's been a while since I looked that part up. Uh, and then you can get a little three oil sample pack. So just your little, you know, little small dropper thing uh, for $9.99. So that'd be a good way to check out some of these scents if you're interested. Uh, if you hit $75, that's the free shipping mark. All right. So the oil blend on this is 50% ostrich. So you got the ostrich blends. You can uh, see that it's cloudy on that. Uh, ostrich and emu blends work great for my beard um, and, and the skin underneath. I really enjoy it. So 50% ostrich, camellia seed, fractionated coconut, castor oil, blueberry seed, hemp seed, shark liver oil, golden jojoba and argan. Not sure if I ever had blueberry seed or shark liver oil as a uh, carrier oil. So and anyway, it works great for me. Uh, I will say it for me, it, it improved after I used it multiple days, which was kind of interesting. I've heard that before for some ostrich blends, but never really experienced it myself for this one. So uh, definitely feels good. Maybe takes just a little bit longer to absorb than some other oils, especially if you use too much. Uh, so I would say uh, maybe just a couple drops less than normal, at least to start with on that is what seemed to work best for me. But I really enjoyed the feel in beard. Same thing with the butter. Uh, it worked great for me. Uh, so on that one, you've got uh, shea um, and mango butter and kokum butter and then the carrier oils, but no ostrich oil in it. So it's the other carriers. And you don't smell any of the carriers. I don't smell any shea butter, which it can be a, an, an offending culprit a lot of times. It smells exactly like the... Um, the beard oil in every way. So that's great. Same thing with the uh, balm. So the balm has got shea butter and white beeswax and then the other carrier oils besides the ostrich oil. And this has no waxy smell, no shea butter smell. It smells exactly like the scent of the uh, beard oil, like the scent profile, like it's supposed to. This is on the heavier side. I have an unscented, and then I've got the one in the Miami. The one with the Miami, I enjoyed a little bit more. I could work around with it, maybe because it had a little extra, um, a little extra liquid in it. But it's still a, a very uh, I wouldn't say very firm, but it's on the firm side. Um, and it's not medium. It's a little bit uh, higher than that. Held my beard all day. Um, the uh, the unscented that I tried, and maybe because it was extra cold when I tried to use it a couple times, I just could not hardly melt it down in my hands. It was to the point where it's a little bit hard to work with. Uh, the uh, the Miami scent, uh, the scented one there was easier to work with. I didn't have any trouble with that. But really good balm. I am loving uh, balm these days with my shorter beard. All right, so uh, let's get into this. Uh, let's get into the scents. And then I do have, like I said, one cologne spray. It smells just like the scent profile of the San Francisco, except it does have that alcohol uh, in it. So you kind of get that traditional old school kind of cologne alcohol mixed with the intended scent profile. All right, so there's kind of all the background information. So we've got... Uh, 
unscented, which is your Des Moines scent. And I'm just going to go through these in random order. This may be the same order they were listed on the website. Um, but let's see what's first here as far as scented ones. It's Austin. Uh, so I'll tell you, like, two of these I don't like. The rest of them I like out of seven. So uh, five out of seven. Uh, enjoy. So that's pretty good. Um, uh, uh, probability their percentages. I'm the math teacher. Use the right words there, Brian. So uh, this is Austin is Wild West Cowboy Cologne. Smoked Texas cedar, black saddle leather, mahogany, cactus blossoms, and cowboy musk. And this scent is not for me. So this is the one of the two that I really don't like. In fact, I could not even wear this one in my beard. So we're starting off on that one. Rip the Band-Aid off, I guess, and get it out of the way. So this one, you get like a uh, a sweet kind of lemony um, leather to it. I think maybe it's the cactus blossoms now that I think about it and, and go back and smelling some of that uh, kind of floral note to it. Uh, and I'm not a fan of leather in the first place. So uh, the two that have leather in it, I don't like. So this is one of them, not for me. If you like uh, leather or if you've tried this company, if you tried Austin, let us know in the comments how you liked it. And I guess we're going to juxtapose this with the one that I think I like the most. I really enjoy uh, like I said, five of these, but Chicago may be number one. So it is Noir Nightlife Cologne, Red Oak, Pipe Tobacco, Black Cardamom, Black Oud, Black Mulberry, Cashmere, and Dark Musk. And this one smells better once you warm it up than out of the bottle. Out of the bottle, it doesn't smell like very special. You warm it up, you get all of that pipe tobacco, cologne, um, and then the uh, that's kind of like the uh, the black cherry kind of cologne. So you get the dark cherry, I guess maybe it's the mulberry or something. And then you get the oak and, and the dark musk. I love anything that's got cashmere in it just about. So this does and kind of smooths things out along with the oud. Really good uh, scent there for Chicago. All right, next up, we've got Denver, which is Rocky Mountain Wilderness, Blue Spruce, Douglas Fir, Mountain Rain, Fresh, wild fresh Wilderness Air, Oak Moss, and Spiced Cologne. So when I read that, I was like, okay, this is going to be blasting me with like the evergreen Christmas tree kind of vibe. And you get just a little bit of that, but because of the uh, mountain rain and the fresh wilderness air, something about that, it is not like overtly evergreen Christmas tree in your face. You get hints of it from the uh, Blue Spruce and the Douglas fir, but it plays very nicely with the mountain rain, I think it is, and the fresh uh, wilderness air kind of smooths it out. So it is a little bit on the, the mountain air kind of side, but it's not Christmas tree. So that's a good one. That one's called Denver. All right, next up, we've got Detroit, which was the other one I don't like because it's got some leather in it, but for some other reasons, too. But this one is Motor City Musk Blend, dark cologne, new car smell, uh, high octane fuel motor oil. Yes, motor oil and a touch of leather. And out of the bottle, I like it fine. I put it on. I'm OK. And then it just kind of wears on me and I don't like it much after about, you know, 10 minutes or so. It's like that's on the stronger side. By the way, most of these are like medium um, and then the ones you don't like is to kind of stick out to be stronger to me, but, uh, the, the rest of them kind of last you six, eight hours kind of depends on how much you put and whether you pair it up with the, uh, the balms and the butters, which have the kind of equal scent strength on it. So this one to me smells, if I can paint a picture for you, you go into a car dealership, you go into the showroom. So you got a new car in the showroom, but you're walking by the parts and the service uh, where they, you know, you say they're getting the oil change and that kind of stuff. So you kind of get whiffs of uh, some of that. Uh, and then also you've got the salesman with the cologne on. You kind of get a mixture of all of that is what I get out of it. So not my favorite, but it's kind of a neat scent uh, on that. Um, one of the best um, citrus scents I've smelled in a while. So this one is called uh, Miami. It's South Beach Citrus Cologne. So blood orange, grapefruit, ginger lime, tangerine, goji berry, teak wood, and white musk. So I get mostly the orange, blood orange, and the grapefruit and the tangerine. Not so much with the lime because I'm not a big fan of a, of a very strong lime. That's not what you get here. And then you you do get the teakwood, goji berry, and the, um, the white musk on the end of that. Super good. I've got that one. And the balm is where it well pairs up very nice to get that uh, going a little bit longer throughout the day. All right, another one of my favorites here is a nice aquatic blend here. San Francisco is Bay Area Aquatic Cologne, Cool Water Cologne, Ocean Breeze, Bay Rum, Honeydew Melon, White Lily, Blue Amber. And that's the one I also have in the cologne spray. Very good. Pre pretty much what you, what you see there in the scent profile is what you get. I don't get tons of Bay Rum. 
or the honeydew melon and white lily. There's kind of those are back notes kind of help blend it together and make it a little more cologne-esque. Uh, you know, I love amber. It's got blue amber in it and the cool water cologne ocean breeze. Uh, really nothing bad on that one at all. That's kind of got all of uh, all of your favorites there if you're into those type of aquatic colognes. And a lot of these say cologne and you get kind of hints of cologne, but I don't want you to think that all of these smell just like store-bought cologne. They don't. They smell like uh, your uh, beard oil that's been kind of hand mixed and you get all of those uh, different scents from the scent profile to go along with, you know, the touch of uh, colognes to go with it. All right, last up, we we do need to grab our passport if we're in the U.S. We got to go to Dublin. I've been to Dublin about four, five, four, five, five years ago, 2018 at this point. I'll throw up a picture if I have one there. Uh, but Dublin is um, Green Irish Springs, Irish Green Irish Tweed Cologne, Rocky Shoreline, White Oak, and Oak Moss. All right, so you do get kind of a greenish. It's not overly Irish tweed because Irish tweed has a, a really kind of sharp to it, sharp note, uh, sharp to it. What am I trying to say here? It's got a sharpness and a bite to it. Um, this doesn't have that as much. I get more of the green Irish spring than I do the green uh, Irish tweed cologne. And then the back notes is your rocky shoreline, your white oak, a uh, little bit of oak moss, but not heavy on the oak moss. So if you like those green kind of scents, and we just are finishing up here March. So I've had several of those kind of scents uh, here lately. I've got that one in the butter works well at night as well. So that's all I've got. I did want to tell you that coming up soon here, I think in April, we've got Amsterdam, New York, and Boston coming soon. And in my mind, I'm going like over all these places I've been. I've been to Paris. I've been to Rome. Uh, all of that would be fun to make uh, make sense out of. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments there, what city would you like to see uh, featured and what would that scent profile be? That would be kind of interesting. So check out Passport Grooming. You can use the code BANJO10 to help you save a little bit. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.